Alright, what is up guys? Deeport here from Deeport Gaming. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 commentary. Today we got a matchup between Fly 100% and his opponent today is going to be 120 here on Turtle Rock. Uh, he's going to be going for the traditional Blade Master, and we did see 120 going for that DK, and actually interesting, he went for the quick Acolyte Scout here. So we were able to take that down. Getting some block here. And oh, that's unfortunate. He'll have to kill it with a peon, perhaps. Yep, he's going to do that. Gets the first early XP there. And DK already on the move. Gonna go for the small turtle and then use his Rada Necromancy there for 1 to 0. And I think this is going to be a quick tech into late fiends, perhaps. He didn't go for the early grave. Oh, that's a really quick tech. Seems to be his style against Orc. Not the greatest item here, gone to strength. We would have liked to see that circlet. Work complete. He's gonna sell it in oh sold the TP, excuse me. And I'm gonna pick up the two selves and the scroll speed. DK got the same item as well. They are cross spawn here. Let's see if um I wonder what Fly's creep route is gonna look like. I think he's just juking and sending the grunt over here just to kind of get the the DK out of here. And he's gonna grab this item here. Ideally, looking for a Claws, Circlet. Circlet would be the, the best. Let's see what he grabs. Goes a Haste. It's okay. And TK. He's going to come over here, and I think he'll just start this off. Yeah. A little risky if uh, Blade ran, ran straight over there. And it's a really light Fiend. Unless he has this one. Okay. Not that light. He has one over here already. Just keeping an eye on things, making sure. Void Master, not going to get that out of him as well. DK, got the same item again. Glove of Haste. Got his level 2. That's actually faster than Fly there. Fly's base about halfway to tier 2. Most likely going to play the traditional orc style here. Going to go for the, the barracks and Grunt, or excuse me, having trouble talking right now. Barracks and uh, Beast Jerry. He's got the skeletons up north. So we did see that Blade Master cleared that. He's gonna sell the Cloak of Shadows. Go for the Ogre Magi here, however. Once as you're on top of it, gotta spot this. You gotta be careful here if you're fly, don't wanna lose a. Creepjack there. He did buy the Boots of Speed, so he'll be able to at least push back the DK just a little bit by going after a couple of these fiends. He's going to use the coil. No more coil now, so the Creepjack threat pretty much gone. We're under attack. Got the critical strike going. Oh, he's got to use Windwalk and finish it off, perhaps. Ooh. We were to get it. Oh, he got slowed, and he still got it through the attack through the DK. However, he's taking quite a bit of damage here. DK, not enough for a coil, though. He does have a speed scroll if need be. It looks like he won't even use it. Doing some multitasking here, too. Grunts, relatively low. DK took a... Or Boymaster took a stutter step back. He's close to three now. Hey, thanks for the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Circlet now. Slippers. Claws of Haze. Pretty strong. DK only level 2 now. And Blade Master spotted. Does have the Lich now, so sh that should definitely help fending off that blade. So tier 2, Slaughterhouse going down. Black Citadel as well. Sh Shadowhunter or Torn Chieftain? Shadowhunter. That's cool. Very aggressive style there, going for that Shadow Hunter. Fly doing a good job keeping uh, what is there a pretty honest here. And now he'll grab the level three here and potentially another circlet claws. It's gonna be a claws, just what the doctor ordered. 
Oh no, he might be able to get this creep track as well. Dust, he can't get the right quick though. Oh, he's gonna go for DK. He's gonna use speed scroll. Oh, he might get the DK. He got the speed scroll on him, TP. And super close. He won't be able to finish off the ogre as well. And really nice find there from Fly. He's gonna get the talisman invasion. I wonder if he'll actually keep that. He might. It gives him some more survivability, but it also is like 150 gold, I believe. And now that's tough for, for 1 to 0. He's got to stay in his base for quite some time. Oh, he's got the statue now, so. Be able to go out shortly, but it is always risky now with that low DK. Can't take as much risk now. Especially now with the Shadowhunter Hex potential. So he will keep the Talisman for now. Use the clarity and look for another creep jack here. Oh, if he gets another one. That would be devastating. And the turtle one is actually one you can do it on because you can move you can move inside it here. You can see how the void mass is already there. Very tough to creep check. He almost have to stop attacking it. Let's see if we were to get this one. Dust going off. He sees the blade. He wants it to move off. He can't attack it. Oh, we dropped the item. And he didn't get it. But he got the wand of mana stealing. Probably worth it. 200 gold unless he wants to use it. And it's actually really strong if you're a Shadow Hunter in this position. And you use it on a Death Knight before he's going to coil something. Really great way to, way to deny him. Either mana wise or also hex. It's actually a really strong item against Undead. Unless he just sells it. Yeah, he just sold it. 200 gold. It is 200 gold though. So you get the 200 gold or if you want to keep it. I guess he, he felt. Oh, okay. Sells it for an orb. That's a pretty good compromise. So his creep track was an orb. He is staying. That bestiary. Torn Chieftain, even third hero. He's getting the defensive burrows as well. Is that how it usually is? Is it usually Shadow Hunter? Yeah, it, yeah, it usually is. It's not too surprising he went Shadow Hunter. I was just thinking some orcs like to go the, the standard two heroes, which is the Torn Chieftain Blade. But if you get to go for three heroes, um, and go for the tier three. Then you gotta grab the Orb on Blade as well as the the Torn Chieftain third, actually. You don't really see Torn Chieftain then Shadow Hunter. We do see the Banshees out though. We're under attack! And Winters here still not uh, backing down though. He's still pretty aggressive here, even without his DK level three. He's got the Orb on the Lich though. There he goes, he grabs it now. And that's even without a TP. And he grabs a Dark Ranger as well. Research complete. So we're going to have some silence now. It's going to be critical to land those against the Shadow Hunter. And did Torn Chieftain actually get... I think he might have passed the boots here, and we might see an early stomp. Something you don't see too often. Usually you see the Torn Chieftains um, going for the aura first, and maybe he thinks he wants the, the impact there of the Torn Chieftain. Holding those fiends in place, perhaps. Usually, unless he just wants to hold the aura Research to kind complete. of maybe fear the stun. It's always mind games, right? We're complete. We're under attack. Which is here. He's got the hex coil long distance. I think DK got it. Did he? He might have. He got some experience there. Nonetheless, though. Orc picked up the, the item. I think it was a wand of mana stealing. Gonna nuke the raider down. Might lose a fiend, perhaps. Gonna get the frost armor. Oh, he, now he's going back in. Ogre, he's gonna get the healing. Use it now. Dust was even used just to have some defense there. I wish I was looking at the experience. So here's 3 3 now. Shadowhunter grabs a 3. And maybe he'll keep this one. It's the wand of mana stealing again. I don't think he'll sell this one. Blade, though. He does need to be careful. He's got to push into lesser. Okay. No more mana for him, though. TC coming in, looking for the stomp. He actually went for the stomp instead of the aura. Nice one there, holding a lot of the undead in place. Oh, he might go for a nuke. Got the silence. Lich, not enough, though. Might get the blade. Might be forced to use a potion. Probably doesn't want to use a coil because he knows he'll use the potion. He might actually go for it, though. Yeah. Fly using it a little bit early there. A nice start here for 1 2 0. Not taking too much damage from his units. Healing wave. Nicely done there. He's still got the Wanda managing a lot of 
heals coming in here. That's why Fly isn't backing off just yet. Losing a lot of units, though. Stomp onto DK. He's going for the statue. You're gonna get that one. Blade Master doing work. There's the Wanda man. He's doing going off. Still got at least one more healing wave. That's forcing 1-0 to, to retreat a little bit. Right click onto Blade. Silence being used. Torn Chieftain needs to get in there. Stomp soon. Needs a couple more mana. Gotta get the next statue. Crypt Fiend might fall. Get a burrow. Blade Master the target. Needs to catch a healing wave. Not enough mana. There's the... Dust appearance going up. Blade Master now re-engaging. Gets the healing wave. Another Fiend goes down. Torn Chieftain now. Kodo eating a Banshee. Blade Master. Ooh, very nice timing. Got the stomp. Still going after the Lich. Taking a lot of right quick. He doesn't have enough mana. It's going to be close. Maybe Speed Scroll Coil. Going to finish it off. And now 1-2-0. Looking good here. Taking down most of the Orc army. And maybe he's got to get the Blade back from Tavern. Yeah. He will. Going to get the Spirit Walker Snipe as well. Speed Scroll though. Torn Chieftain not enough for a stomp. There's no ensnare coming. Maybe a hex. No, not enough mana. Silence being used. Now he's going to try to turn it here. DK needs to be careful. And wow! Critical strike. DK is down. Now it's on the Lich, perhaps. He's trying to exchange. A lot of right quick. Blade Master, one more. 22 HP. We'll get away. Hex now onto, onto Lich, and it's his turn. Lich going to fall. Things not looking good here for 1 2 0. He still has a unit advantage, perhaps. But wow, very, very close exchange there for Fly. And he's still able to keep... If that Blade Master fell twice there, it would have been huge. DK actually we brought back here. And that picked up quickly. Maybe that uh, Talisman of Evasion. I'm not sure how much he missed there. Um, maybe that actually came in handy to a couple of those Fiends attacks. the population. 43 food here for Fly the 47. And this is a close one here. Although it seems like Fly did some more damage there potentially. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. He lost quite a bit. He is going for the Lich though. He's looking for a stomp perhaps. Still going on Lich. Coil was used. Potion uh, even will be passed and used. No more mana here for TC. Shadowhunter only has one more. Oh, DK needs to be careful. Excuse me. Void Master. And yeah, with this 3-3 undead hero combo. Almost a 3-3-3. That Void Master is looking relatively squishy now. The potential nuke from 1-0 is pretty ridiculous. Look at the fly. Still super aggressive. Oh, he's going for the Ogre Magi, so he just wants the healing. He'll get out of there. Yeah, he didn't lose too much HP, actually. Lost a Raider. Oh, now he's going to let 1 2 0 take, take the damage here and re engage. Oh, Windwalk is going to go for Creepjack. He didn't grab it. Looking for the Lich. Lich actually had to use a potion again and the TP out. He got the item, though. Endurance, not what he needed. Already has that with the Torn Chieftain. But we'll sell that. Uh, Great Hall being built here. Gonna take some time to get there. Ready to ride. Gonna get that scroll of healing. That should help with the Spirit Link units. Dark Rangers 3 now. That silence is gonna be long. We're under attack! Okay, four. Use two potion of lessers there, I think, for that lich. Pretty big investment. Torn chieftain's three now. It's or level one. So level two stomp. Oh, you got the storm wind. Not the greatest. You'd like to see a bone chimes perhaps, but still, I, I think it doesn't get get enough credit. It is only plus one armor, but still. 49 food to 50. Both players under upkeep. Scout it out here from 1 to 0. Anything tricky going on? Doesn't look like it. Upgrades. What was the item? Vitality. Blade Master getting pretty tanky. 
Meanwhile was the item at the the turtle. Quoth loss. Dark Ranger, right clicking pretty hard now. Let's see. Pushing a lesser here. Both players creeping out the map now. Not too much left. A few ogres on each side now. Lich will grab four. It's gonna be nice. Work complete. Wonder what is that a level one? Yeah, so I think DK actually got death packed here, just in case, because the potential nuke ability here from the blade or potential right click is really scary. So I think, or he might be holding on to it, but I think he probably went death packed. It's only a holy one. Both players at the same time almost. They're like, okay, let's break the uh, the upkeep here. Banshee coming out, abomination as well. Destroy here as well, because we did see. Spear link, actually, so you don't see that too often, but he made a pretty late spear lodge. Work complete. Starting to become a thing. Blade Master looking for a statue. Doesn't want to take too much right click. Dust was being used. Torn Chieftain leading the charge. Perhaps he's zooming too. He's got the boots of speed and aura. Here he comes. He's going to go for statue, looking to get close. Got the DK, Lich, Fiends as well. Now he's on to another. He's the Frost Armor that. He's going to lose a Grunt. No, save with the Healing Wave. Still down, though. Another one down as well. Going to keep that alive. Stun on the DK as well. Fiend is down. Abomination a little caught out here. Another Grunt's going to fall. What is that? 2-3. Already down. Right click on the Torn Chieftain. Going to get a Healing Wave. He's got a Potion. Should be okay. Blade was looking for the Lich. Sounds going off. Caught the Torn Chieftain, so no more stomp just yet. Still going for the right click on Lich. Gonna have a coil as well. So it's a potion to Invul here. Orc taking quite a bit of damage here. He's trying to respawn. Kota Beast gonna eat the Abomination. Lost the Spear Walker on the backside. DK does need to be careful. Does have a Town Portal though. Let's see. Blade Master still has the potion. And get another Spear Walker here. Stomp. Oh, it's gonna be scary. He has the coil still close. Still has the potion as well. Maybe he could have used a Hex there. DK finally gonna teleport out. No heroes lost here, unless the Lich didn't want to risk the double potential critical strike. There, we've seen that happen a lot. Didn't want to roll the dice, so he's going to use the potion anvil. What is that? 150 gold. Speaking of gold, we're at 1k here for both players, and we do have that expansion completed just in the last minute or so. So, Lin, or Lin, Fly taking quite a bit of damage from his army once again, but still holding off. Um, if this game keeps going with his gold still up. I think he should be able to maybe... He might have a slight edge just because he has expansion up. He's not too concerned about being a little bit low on food right now. Although he didn't really burst the the heroes too much. 1-0 to zero had pretty good hero micro. He is low on mana right now though, so he, I'm not sure if he wants to fight just yet. Let's have mana potions on SH. And Torn Chieftain? Yeah, that's a lot of mana. Let's see, Blade's actually running the shop, so Fly doesn't want to take this just yet. And now he's running back. He's low on mana. He might want to go for Statue. He's going for Banshee first. Level 5 Blade now. He's going to get another Banshee as well. Third one going down. No more Banshees, I think. Maybe one left if I can't see it. Looks like no more Banshees, though. Now it's on Statue. Not a great start here for one here. And a nice stop here. Things not looking good here. A really nice engage here for Fly. Now he's going to get mana now on his SH. Another stun coming in. He's got to use the mana potion as well on TC. And they're going to have a lot of mana being used. Statue's down as well. He's losing some troll head hunters. Now it's on to Lich, perhaps. Quill going to be used. Now it's on to Fiends. Fiends going to fall. Kodo coming in from around the side. Looking to eat something. Torn Chieftain still has another stomp if he wants to go for it. Oh, it's going to be a good one. There it is. Now it's on the Dark Ranger. Coral might be too late. Let's see if he gets a crit. Not even needed. And a Hex was there as well, just in case. Dark Ranger down now. And 1-2-0 going to tap out, it looks like. Fly going to take that one. A really good game there for Fly. Kind of a bloodbath. But his Blade Master really strong. Oh no, he might be able to get this creep check as well. Dust, he can't get the right quick though. Oh, he's gonna go for DK. He's gonna use speed scroll. Oh, he might get the DK. He got the speed scroll on him. TP. And super close. He won't be able to finish off the ogre as well. 
Master, ooh, very nice timing. Got the stomp. Still going after the Lich. Taking a lot of right quick. He doesn't have enough mana. It's going to be close. Maybe Speed Scroll Coil. Going to finish it off. And now 1 2 0. Looking good here. Sounds being used. Now he's going to try to turn it here. DK needs to be careful. And wow! Critical strike. DK is down. Now it's on the Lich, perhaps. He's trying to exchange. A lot of right quick. Blade Master, one more. 22 HP. We'll get away. Hacks now onto, onto Lich, and it's his turn. Lich gonna fall. Things not looking good here for 1 through 0. He still has a unit advantage, perhaps. Get another Spirit Walker here. Stomp. Oh, it's gonna be scary. He has the coil still close. Still has the potion as well. Maybe he could have used a Hex there. DK finally gonna teleport out. Looks like no more Banshees, though. Now it's on Statue. Not a great start here for 1 0. And a nice stomp here. Things not looking good here. A really nice engage here for Fly. Now it's on the Dark Ranger. Coral might be too late. Let's see if he gets a crit. Not even needed. And a Hex was there as well, just in case. Dark Ranger down, down. And 1 2 0. Gonna tap out, it looks like. 